Hey everybody, I um, just wanted to give you an update on the Wolf project. I went ahead and started to do the modeling, the 3D modeling uh, for the for the Wolf. And I'm doing it in SketchUp. This is the free version. And it's, uh, I've never done any 3D modeling before. And it's not too tough. I'm tech savvy and I'm, you know, I've got a little bit of an engineering background, so some of this makes sense to me, and then, you know, of course, I've messed up a couple times and had to go back and redraw and add and delete and all that stuff, just like anybody would, I guess. But it's really fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I like the idea that I will be able to play around with the layout of the boat. I'm at that point now where I'm like, well, if I, you know, what if I do this or what if I do that? And I love the idea of being able to play around with the components all the way down to the gas tank, the stringers, um, you know, the bilge, you know, where are we going to put our through hulls, that kind of thing. I will be able to do all of that and, and even the wiring, you know, I'd be able to place the wiring in there so you could see it and then uh, everyone could give me their, their feedback as to what they think. Um, and of course, I'd like to be able to see what it's going to look like. I drew it to scale. so. It's, it's correct, it's 19 feet long, and the beam is just over six feet wide. And when you design it like this, you essentially design half the hull, and then copy and paste it and invert it so that they, they match up together. So you have to draw two pieces. Um, the hardest part, I think, so far is going to be getting the um, concave portions of the hull right here. I did it once already and then I screwed it all up so I had to go back and delete it all and then start over. I'm, you know, I spent probably five or six hours on it so far and I'm at this point which I probably have a whole bunch more time to do on it. But I feel like five or let's say ten hours in the 3D modeling phase will save me tons of mistakes down the line and I'll be able to get a better product, uh, you know, better end result. Okay, she's moving along now. I've got uh, both halves together. I've got the transom skins installed and set. There's a couple of dimensions that are not correct, but I, I don't really know how to fix that, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it because I'm this far now, but we'll see. But she's starting to look like the wolf, and it's uh, I think it's ready for me to start putting a deck on it and maybe a console put the motor in yeah I'm digging it and I went on the um, the 3d warehouse there and I found an outboard motor that actually looks a lot like the outboard motor that I'm gonna be using so it looks pretty close that's pretty rad yeah oh yeah it's coming together now I'm impressed I did not build this part this is not my design but it looks pretty close and this is where I am today. I've got the console built. I'm not 100% satisfied with that. I've got the fuel cell installed and it's all to spec. Everything is um, proportionate to the actual boat. So you can see there she sits over there and uh, I am Getting close, I didn't, you know, I'm not going to do the second half yet. Um, you just copy and paste this one and put it in. So, but, uh, but yeah, we're getting close. This is uh, a really fun process for me, actually. I, uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, put in the wiring and the hoses for the fuel and the vent, so we know where to run all that and uh, whatnot and. Also, yesterday I laid some more fiberglass into the interior. Uh, I'll just show you on the model. I laid a piece of fiberglass uh, that went from here all the way across both stringers and um, to, to reinforce the stringers. I, it's just one piece of biaxial, just laid down flat, and just put in for structural integrity because the when I walk across the port side stringer, I get some cracking. I hear cracking, like you know, right across here. So, 
I thought, well, you know, we'll go ahead and lay a new fiberglass across it and, um, you know, just reinforce it. It's never a bad idea. Since we got the floor up, we might as well do it. And uh, the gas tank's going to be sitting right up against it anyway, so, you know, I want it to be nice and strong. So I'm not 100% convinced on the console. I was thinking that maybe I would do one of those pedestal consoles with the two posts that come up from the deck and then move it up forward and then so it would sit kind of at the same height that you see it here but you can imagine it just cut off right there I'll draw a model and we'll see how that looks because I'm not 100% convinced as to the, the way it looks right now I mean it's you know I want it it's really super clean so but I also like the idea of having that extra storage in that inside of this the console here and it looks to me, and is, if my model is correct, we have a lot of open space inside of these, um, under these decks in the front. And I have not finished drawing this deck in the front yet, but, you know, if you look at it, it's like, well, there's a lot of core space there that's not being utilized. So we can put hatches in, uh, hatch there, hatch there hatch there that goes down and probably not do a hatch up front because I want this to be for fishing standing and whatnot if you can so but yeah the the 3d modeling process is really quite fun so I will continue